key expenditure to favor growth or focus on meeting the fiscal deficit target. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has a tough choice before him and experts from the world of economics and finance are divided on the best course of action. Alexander Matthew and Ritu Singh bring you the divide. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley is at a crossroads when it comes to fiscal consolidation. Tax revenues have fallen short of expectations, investment inflows have not been as robust as expected, expenditure cuts have had limited success and growth is sluggish. This means he can either increase public expenditure and push the promise to bring India's fiscal deficit to 3.5% of GDP in FY16 to the back burner, or he can concentrate on meeting his fiscal deficit targets and delay measures to boost growth. Not surprising then that experts are divided on how Jaitley should proceed. RBI Governor Raghuram Rajan, for instance, maintains that fiscal consolidation should be the government's priority. The Indian economy is currently being viewed as a beacon of stability because of the steady disinflation, a modest current account deficit, and commitment to fiscal rectitude. This needs to be maintained so that the foundations of stable and sustainable growth are strengthened. Rajan expects the increased burden on the exchequer from factors like the seventh pay commission and the one rank one pension scheme to put upward pressure on inflation and has held off rate cuts till clarity comes from the government. But the government machinery insists these requirements have been woven into the current fiscal deficit targets. Both the seventh pay commission as well as one rank, one pension was fully factored into mm. our thinking uh, when we in fact laid out the roadmap of 3.9% fiscal deficit this year and then 3.5% fiscal deficit thereafter and then 3% the following year. The question has bankers split down the middle as well. As long as we don't go excessive on uh, fiscal spending and we can maintain it at 39 it will be preferable to spend and keep the economy going and then we can consolidate next year. If fiscal latitude is taken to put in for investment and we don't go from 3.9 to 3.5, maybe stick to 3.9, that's what's happening world over. The earth will not shatter. It's probably the right thing to do in my opinion. Even 7% is a damn good growth in today's world. Mm. Therefore, whether it's 7, 7.5, 7 7.6, 6 6.8 and 7, I think it doesn't really matter that much as long as we build a stable and sustainable growth rate uh, with uh, very strong macroeconomic stability. We want to make sure that the fiscal deficit is in control because otherwise that puts pressure on the bond markets and bond yields go up. You're already seeing bond yields uh, under pressure upwards, partly coming out of conversion of discount debt onto state government balance sheets. And therefore, we must look at fiscal deficit consolidated between center and the states. What may tip the scales for Jaitley is that missing his fiscal deficit targets may not mean a hit to India's credibility or lead to an immediate change in India's sovereign rating. As Moody says, India already has a weak fiscal position and a slight missing of the target has been worked into the country's ratings, which is just a notch above junk status. In Mumbai with Alexander Matthew, Ritu Singh. So staying with the fiscal